Hey, this is Jesse Tula for BatchFrame.com, and in this video, I'm going to be going through my new script, Distribute by Scale. Now, at the time that I'm recording this tutorial, this script is still just in beta form, so I'll probably record another tutorial once I've updated it, but I just want to take you through the very basics and give you some simple examples just to show you what the script can do. So to start out, I am just going to create a new layer and a new solid. Just make it a square, and I'm just going to create a few duplicates of this. And we'll just get these lined up, just so we have something to work with. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is just change the scale of some of these layers. I'm just going to scale this one up to 200, scale this one down to, let's say, 20. And so let's open up the script UI panel. We're going to go to Window and down to Distribute by Scale, and here is the script. So there's really two separate sections. We have the Distribute and Space section, uh, which uses this final scale option, and then we have the scale options down here at the bottom. There's four different ones, and I'll go through what each of these do. So you're actually going to use this bottom section before you use the Distribute and Space button, and what these do is just scale your layers in different patterns. So if I choose these and choose exponential, you can see it sets an exponential relationship between each of these layers scale. If I choose linear, use a linear scale. Now, even space kind of corresponds with the distribute in space button. Basically, what the script is going to do is push these layers into 3D space uh, based on their scale. So this button will make it so that once they're pushed into 3D space, there will be an even distance between them. To use this, you have to have an active camera, and you can see that if I choose this, it says there must be an active camera to use this type of scale. So I'm just going to create a camera real quick. And it's just warning me that right now none of these layers are 3D, so it's not going to do anything. But it will help our script, so I'm just going to select all these layers again. And now if I hit even space, you can see that it changes the scale of all these layers. And then finally we have the random button and it just sets a random scale for each of our layers. So I'll undo that. Uh, one thing to know about all of these options is that it uses the smallest and the largest layer as boundaries. So if we set this from 20% down to say 10%, it's now going to rescale all of these based on that lowest number being 10. So you can see if I hit once again even space, all of these layers updated between 10 and keeping that 200 percent. And that's the same for all of them. Uh, random's a little bit different. It will change the first and last item, but it still does use the 10 percent and the 200 percent as uh, boundary values. So you can see that all of these layers are still between 10 and 200. Alright, so let's change this back. I'm going to change all these back to 100 percent and then we'll change this one back down to 20 and let's just keep it at exponential so now what I'm going to do I'm going to leave this final scale at 100 for now uh, I'll go over that in a second and I'm just going to hit this distribute and space button now you can see there wasn't really a change at least no visible change but you can see now that all of these layers and let me minimize these for you are now uh, 3D layers and if we go and move our camera around, you can see that now the layers are all in 3D space. So if we're at the default position with our camera, you can see that everything looks the same, but as we orbit around, you can see that the layers are actually pushed in a 3D space. And all of these layers are now at 100% scale. They're no longer at the scale we set. So basically what it did is took the scale that we set in 2D space and pushed them in 3D space based on those scales. So what this final scale option does is sets the scale that these are changed to uh, once it's distributed in space. So you saw before that these all the layers were moved to 100% scale. If I change this to say 200 and we run the script again, now you can see all these layers are at 200% instead of 100% for their scale. Now you can see that it's still 100% for Z, but that doesn't really affect what we're doing here. So the x and y values of the scale are 200% because of this new value. And that works 
with whatever number you put in, I can put in 10% scale and distribute in space. And you can see they're now 10% scale. And basically what that's going to do is when we orbit our camera, it kind of sets a smaller distance between these layers. And just the opposite for larger than 100% scales. So it's kind of self-explanatory what these two do. I just want to show you the even space scale. Let's leave it at exponential for now. And I'm going to once again distribute this into space. And I am going to go to a top view. And I'm going to select all these layers. And let me go back and change it back to 100% scale just so we can get a little bit more space. Okay, so we're in our top view. And if I select all these layers, you can see the spacing between them grows as we move farther out. So if I go back and I choose even space scale, and I run this again, then when I go to my top view and I select all the layers, you can see that the distance between each of these in the Z axis is exactly the same. So the distance between these two layers is the same as these two and these two, and so on. So that's what that uh, even space button does. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it as far as the basics of this script. You guys can play around with it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think should be changed. Uh, this is still just a beta version, so there could possibly be some little issues here and there, but we'll find out. So that's it for this video. Please download the script. It's free uh, at batchframe.com. Just go over to the AE Extras section and look for Distribute by Scale. So yeah, enjoy it, and I'd love to hear what you think. So this is Jesse Dool for batchframe.com, and I'll see you in the next one.